Hey, what's up? This is Antonio Thompson coming to you from Brooklyn, New York. And this week I'm doing a five uh, video series on five simple steps to six figures. Uh, today's topic is going to be on brand, discovering your it factor. Stay tuned. So the first step into the five simple steps to six figures is to really know your brand. Like, what is your it factor? You want to ask yourself several questions. You know, what am I passionate about? Am I passionate about, you know, music? Am I passionate about cooking? Am I passionate about, you know, fitness? Am I passionate about helping, you know, people get their finances in order? What is your passion? Because that's really going to drive you um, to pursue your goals and also going to get you up in the morning to actually start working on those goals and dreams, right? So that's the first question. What is your passion? Figure that out. Write it down. Then you want to think about, you know, what your mission what is the mission you want to accomplish? What do you want to achieve? What do you want to be known for? Like, you know, in your industry, in your niche, what do you want people to associate your brand with? Um, you know, look at your competition, look at, you know, who's out there and what they're doing and how do you want to be different or, or similar or just completely out of the box in comparison to your competition? Also think about how you want to be remembered long term. This is about creating a legacy for you and your family, right? So when you are no longer here, you know, at some point in the near far distant future, um, you want to think about, you know, what do you want your legacy to be? What do you want your company or your businesses and your brand's legacy to be uh, moving forward? So here are three um, tips I want to share with you about building your brand. The first is you want to identify your competition, look at what they're doing, um, use it as a guide, not as a you know discouragement or um, something that you have to actually copy. But use them as a guide. See what they're doing. See what's you know uh, a su su success for them, and either model them or do something completely different. You want to know your competition. You know what you're up against, and you want to know how you can actually do things better than what they're doing. Pepsi and Coke, right? Which one's better? Um, the second thing you want to do as you build your brand is to be authentic, right? Be you. Don't try to you know, hide your personality, don't try to, you know, be someone that you're not. Be authentically you, because people are gonna respond to that and they're gonna really be attracted to the person that you are. Some people, may, some people may not like you, that's fine, but people that do like you are gonna be very appreciative of what you have to say and what you have to offer. And lastly, you want to give value, right? You want to give uh, your customers, your potential customers, tons of value so they come to know, like, and trust you and respect you as an authority. So I hope you got value out of this video. And if you did, please like it, share it, and comment on it. And be sure to stay tuned to uh, tomorrow. I'm going to be sharing with you step number two. Again, uh, thank you for checking it out, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.